jacks. Jack surfboards. Uh, in Huntington Beach. It's a surf shop, pretty good sized surf shop. And they sell a line of um, kind of generic boards called Altins that are um, foamies, as well as these hard boards that used to say Altin, I believe. And now they don't have the Altin logo, but they just have the Jack surfboard logo. So this particular model is called the Comet. It's uh, 5.4 by 20 and 3 quarters by 2 and 7 sixteenths. And it's stated to be 29.8 liters, uh, which actually when I sit on it, I would say it's closer to 27 liters. On top of that, this board regularly goes for $390. I think maybe a little more now. I never picked it up because obviously I'm not interested in it. Uh, when I first started this channel, the idea was to do boards that other shapers didn't do. But right away, I figured out that no one really watches those videos. <laughs> uh, so it wasn't really in my best interest, at least uh, from a subscriber standpoint. Um, and viewership standpoint to do those types of boards. And this was the first one I was going to do, but never got, you know, never did it just because of the numbers. Recently, I was shopping online. I forget what I was looking for. I went to Jack's Surf Shop website and I saw this particular board. It was the very last one. It went on sale for $200. Brand new, $200. So I thought, you know what? That's worth it. I'll go buy it and test it. Because maybe, you know, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. When I looked at them many years ago, like I think three years ago, they just, they looked, they were too thin. Um, the shape just looked wrong. And I just thought, oh yeah, you know what? This is probably not a good board to have. And I didn't want, and I thought I was going to do this video as kind of more like a consumer warning video. Hey, don't buy these boards. But you saw the footage. You, like I said, it works. And in fact, it's kind of changed my mind about how thick I like the rails. Um, there were some benefits to having it this thin. My heel to toe control was so much better on this board. It almost feels like the back half of the go fish. The bottom contour is basically a concave all throughout from top to bottom concave. So there's no V out the tail as wide as that tail is. I thought for sure you would need a V to kind of, you know, what all the shapers tell you that it helps easy or ease the um, rail to rail transition. Yeah, it's super easy rail to rail transition and it's concave all the way right out the tail. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is build quality. It is very poorly made in the sense that, but in the tail, this little white line right there, I don't know if you can see it, that's like an air bubble. So basically there's like an air between the glass job and the, um, the fin box. And we have little blemishes like that all throughout. Now, when I'm thinking about a $200 board, not a big deal, you know. But if I were to have bought this for $400, I, you know, it, uh, that kind of is a big deal. All right. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how well it surfed, how it kind of blew my mind in terms of, it, like, I just thought it was just going to be so bad based on when I look at it. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't look like it would surf. <laughs> It literally serves like the baked potato, a very thin version of the baked potato. And in fact, I wish my baked potato was thinner now um, or my twice baked. Sorry. OK, so do me a favor. Comment below and give me an example of maybe a board that surprised you. Something that you thought there's no way because based on everything you've learned from shapers and your own you know, history of having boards, you thought to yourself, there's no way this will ride. And then you were shocked by it. Yeah, I'd like to know because this one was a head scratcher. And the modern two as well, because that's a V bottom. And I always thought I liked concaves. So this is crazy. All right. <laughs> Till the mashup. That's coming. So stay tuned.